Well, I did it. I bought a brand new car. And it is big and I really like it. So far, everything's great. There are a few little teeny little things which I'll talk about, but it's nothing with drivability or defects or anything like that. Volvo XC90 B6 and this is the ultimate which is uh, two steps up from the baseline. 21 inch wheel and that is the biggest tire I've ever owned. It's the Pirelli Scorpion 275 40 R21. Big, big, big. Since this video literally could take hours to show you all the features and everything that came with it, uh, plus there are some software updates that need to be done to the vehicle. The heads up display only shows the speed limit, not like traffic signs and mapping arrows, turn left here kind of stuff. Um, so, and they've also switched from Gosh, I don't even know what their navigation system was, whether it was in-house or uh, some other brand, to Google Maps. So that was fun getting my phone all synced in because, you know, it was just a whirlwind at the dealership as they're pointing all the things to us, uh, out to us uh, when we're there. As a matter of fact, before we even hit the start button, I mean, we had to uh, create a... Volvo Cars account and then download the app and then log into the car, log into the app or log into Volvo Cars and then I could connect my phone uh, with uh, Bluetooth. And then I set up my phone with Bluetooth and get everything all connected and driver one and all the settings and it just goes uh, on and on and on uh, from there. All right, first of all, by far and away, I cannot praise these seats enough. These seats are so comfortable, it is uh, ridiculous. I mean, it is beyond ridiculous how comfortable the seats are. Then we got the option for the new buck headliner uh, and that came with the uh, backrest massage front seats. So that was really, really, really nice. So the other option we took was the retractable trailer hitch. This truck is huge. <laughs> Just getting, not so much getting in, but getting out of it is a real step down, I'll tell you. Oh my goodness. And it is a truck. The DMV licensing fee was a few dollars more because it was over the 4,000 pounds. That's where Virginia draws the line. I think this one came in at 6,000 pounds. But anyway, the uh, let's talk about money, something that nobody wants to talk about. So I went on the Volvo's website and uh, special ordered or built the car and uh, link to the design. Uh, so I built the car myself with everything I wanted and it came to 73575. Now that was with the uh, destination charge, you know, the, uh, the uh, Teamsters tax and then the two options that I talked about which was the uh, headliner that also came with the seats and then the uh, retractable trailer hitch, which goes right here, which is not there because the dealer didn't have it. <laughs> so I'm going back in a couple of days and he'll install it. So we bought the seven seat because I thought the uh, six seat was a real little bit ridiculous. I already have the back seats folded down. I got the Volvo um, carrier liner. Uh, that's not a Volvo cargo net. It's something I had left over from my other one, my other XC90. Um, this comes in three pieces, and that's because the other two pieces uh, need to move if the seats come up. So that's, that's why that is there. And getting back to the money. So the vehicle, like I said, was 73 
575 well there's a whole lot of stuff that goes with that like tax title tags insurance and all that other stuff uh, the dealership warned me and went over it like 500,000 times that they've had to repair so many glove boxes because people just don't understand that you can only open them electrically and that's it and so people have just pried and tried to you know rip this thing open and they can't get it they can't find a handle anywhere well that's because there is no handle anywhere there is a button so you press that button and the glove box opens so I already have all my junk in here uh, all my tissues and hand wipes and napkins and ink pen and then over here that's my older Volvo one here we have what came with the vehicle and it was actually empty in a bag and the way you open it, it took me ever figure took me forever to figure it out because I had this little tab thing here and I kept thinking you know you, you pulled it out but you don't you open it that way so here is the window sticker Volvo XC90 B6 all-wheel drive ultimate seven seater and there's all the parts and pieces they put into it and over here on this side, they show the money. Show me the money. So, with uh, the one option and the and the Teamsters tax, it came to seventy one nine ninety five. Now that is without the trailer hitch, which we wanted, but they got this car and it. Yeah, he's saying that the trailer hitch is a dealer installed option so anyway this cost with the trailer hitch said 73 575 and the sticker said 71 995 so let's call it 72 and the option was listed as 1580 so that would make it 73 6 yes so you know that's Pretty, pretty darn close. All right, I think I already filed my receipt, but I went and got the numbers because this was a cash purchase. There's no financing, nothing. So this includes everything except insurance. So he sent us this uh, uh, customer acknowledgement of basic terms of agreement, and it showed a final out the door price of seventy seven thousand five hundred seventy five dollars and sixty six cents because you know you have to add all the tax title tags and all that other stuff so my checkbook says I wrote him a check for seventy six thousand five hundred thirty four dollars and sixteen cents for a difference of one thousand forty one dollars and fifty cents so he said he took $1,000 off, and that was, what he was saying is he was sort of eating the cost of the trailer hitch because it wasn't with the car. So, plus they also wanted to get it off of their lot before the end of the year so they don't have to pay taxes on it in case you know how dealerships work. So here's my receipt. We're also on Tuesday, we're going to get the uh, head cushion. I'll show you a picture of that if I still have it. If not, I'll do it in another video. And uh, the uh, trunk mat. So that we went just went down to the parts department and bought those two items. It was uh, right under 400 bucks. So and anyway, one was wool and one was leather. We got the leather one. The wool was black and the leather was uh, like a blonde. So we got the one to match the interior. So here's the neck cushion. Uh, we're going on a trip uh, as soon as <laughs> I get the neck cushion. And there's the mat. So I just went to the parts department and said, I want these. And I had the prices. I mean, I had the part numbers listed. So they didn't have to do too much work. And that saved on communication and prevented errors. I still need to make a bunch of videos on this S90 um, 
there are so many features and stuff with it it just overwhelmed me and it's my wife's car so she drove it all the time I really didn't become overly familiar with it so there was kind of that issue too I did do one on the trunk that was and that was so consuming it was unbelievable so but however with the XC90 I am going to do some more it was uh, pretty involved just to get on to get into the car I mean I had to create a Volvo ID then I had to create a driver ID and then I had to log in with my Google account for the maps so you know it just went on and on and on and on and on so uh, go over all that I showed you the money because hey that's what people don't talk about you know you might see a video you go in there and fight with them you know you're rolling around on the floor for 10 cents you know if their DMV fee is over $79 and you walk out and all this other crap this was the best car buying experience of my life we have purchased between my wife and I six zero miles new cars this one had six or eight but you know what I mean they got to inspect it and drive it around a little bit to just get it off the truck you know <laughs> drive it around whatever uh, most of the cars we had were under 10 miles the new ones and then we bought used ones both from the dealer and individuals so out of the 15 cars we've owned in our lifetimes whether they were given to us or we bought them or went to the dealer and bought them this was by far and away the best experience of our life utterly utterly fantastic buying experience I highly 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 recommend that you drive we drove an hour to Volvo cars of Charlottesville we live near Lynchburg and there's a dealership in Lynchburg they're Berglund now used to be Hammersley I knew Hammersley personally then it became Crossroads when he sold it now it's Berglund there's also a Volvo dealership in Roanoke and there's one in Richmond it used to be Moore's I can't remember the name immediately for this video uh, we bought the wife's S80 there that was brand new zero mileage car fantastic experience they threw in a hundred and sixty dollar fee right there at the end which pissed me off but it was I was much younger then <laughs> and I didn't fight as hard uh, to get that taken off it was just a BS fee I, I don't know but anyway my whole point is I highly, highly, highly recommend uh, Carter Miles Automotive Volvo Cars of Charlottesville. By far and away, if you want a Volvo and you want the nicest, smoothest experience of your life as far as purchasing a car, you need to go there. All right, I wanted to wrap this up by showing you what's under the hood and showing you that nothing's under the hood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get this thing popped up. Have to be very, very careful because I'm parked off to the side. There, it goes immediately into what other cars call maintenance mode. You know, they partially open if you want to, you know, check the oil kind of thing, which that's a thing in the past. Uh, and then uh, a mechanic can open it like up all the way, almost vertically. And I have to be careful because of my garage door so don't want to scratch the brand new car but underneath here what you see is everything is covered up except the windshield washer fluid so the brake fluid is behind this panel right here and the coolant is behind this panel right here the air conditioning is available right here and that refrigerant is 900 grams of R1234YF and the oil is Volvo PAG and some SAE numbers in there so I'm sure that's a variety of PAG oils. Speaking of oils while I'm waiting all day for them to install the trailer hitch 
I'm going to ask them about the oil because the oil schedule is every 10,000 miles or once a year and I typically do it during state inspection you know because you know I'm retired now so I if I hit 10,000 miles a year that's that's <laughs> that's really cranking it out I don't get anywhere near that it's between five and eight at the most but anyway I need to ask them if they actually use Castrol Edge Professional in their, you know, 55-gallon drums that they buy it in and whether it meets Volvo Car Company RBSO-2AE. I know they'll use the 0W20 and that's a, the letter O, RBSO-2AE. So I was going to ask them about that because I don't want to go to the dealership pay for an oil change and they just throw some BS in there so and then I want to see also want to see if they charge extra for the oil now this is four years four years oh crap yeah it's a good idea to always consult the words I said four years it is three years or 36,000 miles and so your First year, 10,000 miles. Second and third year are uh, covered. But it says for regularly scheduled maintenance services. So the regularly scheduled maintenance services, I uh, don't know if that includes the oil because if you read through the book through the maintenance section of the book it's maintenance services so you know I think that's inspection like they look the car over and make sure you know the wires aren't dangling out the bottom or something the other cool thing I wanted to show you tow for life so I guess as long as Volvo or Gailey are in business you can have your car towed to the dealership hope that never happens all right so for the hybrid models which is engine code H6 you can see that in miles every 10,000 miles it is engine oil and filter replace reset the service reminder check the coolant level and antifreeze uh, check check it Just make sure it's still providing corrosion protection and then it says um, power steering fluid level check and adjust I didn't think this had power steering fluid I know the s90 doesn't so I'm, I'm a little confused there I need to become familiar with the vehicle well that's hybrid models Steering, front suspension, automatic transmission control, windshield washer fluid, woohoo, check wipers, external you lighting, know, horn, seat belts, you know, that's all like state inspection stuff. So, anyway, I uh, just kind of wanted to make 100% sure that they were going to provide the correct oil for the first. 30,000 miles first three years and I'll let you know in a future video <laughs> so that's it for now this is my new Volvo XC90 B6 ultimate yeah we got from the dealer still needs a little bit here and there uh, it's fantastic to drive uh, we live about an hour away so and then we went out to dinner because we needed to drive it around town too <laughs> so uh, the car uh, has about 80 miles on it now at the time of this video and it's raining today I think if not today tomorrow even though it's raining I could still wash the car in the rain that's right I can uh, because uh, 
they did like a auto car wash. I don't even think they wiped it down too well. It, was, it wasn't the best wash in the world that they did, but that's okay. But what I really dislike is they put that tire shine crap on the cars. <laughs> the only thing I like about our local dealer is they don't do that. But anyway, it just like totally threw all that crap all over the car. And uh, so I was going to put some mud flaps on it. I don't think I need to get the genuine Volvo mud flaps. They're like uh, $55 a piece, so it's like 110 bucks just for the parts and then uh, my labor to put it on. But I will do that. And they're black. I was going to look and see if they have white ones or maybe paint them. I'm not sure. Uh, for my wife's car, the S90, they only had front ones. So I bought some aftermarket and front and back and put those on. So, But they were black only. Uh, initially she wasn't too happy, but I'm happy with the way it keeps everything clean. So, there's that. I mean, I really did not make any adjustments. Gosh, I like that. Uh, when I got in the car, didn't really even have to move the seat, steering wheel, nothing. It was all by coincidence or whatever, just perfect. All right, the glove box is manual closed, but I'm going to put everything back in the glove box and close it up. There's a little shelf right there for your books, and then all your junk can go down at the bottom. It's a place for a pen or pencil in the side there. I don't know if you can see it. I can barely see the top of it right there. Clips in there. I put I put a pen in there just because. <laughs> so I will uh, put my stuff away and thank you for watching my video.